Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all to Easy Humanitum channel. In this video, I discuss an explanatory figure. The title of the figure, Limb Flow from the Extracellular Spaces through the Leaf Node. This is a schematic diagram. So, the view of this figure is not applicable because it is not physical structure. Here, a cross section of the lymph node present within this figure for showing uh, for easy explanation of the lymph flow through the lymph node. This figure primarily shows the structure function relationship. It explains how lymph flow through a lymph node, which is critical for understanding the lymphatic system function. Now, the description of the figure, this is extracellular fluid uh, space. And this is arterial, this is capillary, this is venial, this is vein. So, fluid are accumulated, extracellular fluid are accumulated here uh, in the tissue space, and this fluid is drained and through the blood vessels. But some fluid are remain, this remaining fluid is inter within the lymph capillary. You know the lymph capillary have a unique structure that overlapping endothelial are present and this allow the entry of large molecule like protein, cellular debris, pathogen that blood capillary cannot effectively reabsorb. This helping clearing the extracellular space of substance that would otherwise accumulated. The blood capillary operate high pressure compared to the lymph capillary. Lymph capillary operate under low pressure. They can collect and return the fluid to the circulatory system. So this lymph capillary is together and form efferent lymph vessels and this is the cross section of the lymph node. These are all efferent lymph vessel. So here lymph is entered within the lymph node. This is the capsule of the lymph node. Under the capsule, this is subscapsular sinus. So lymph enter within the subscapsular sinus. This is trabecular sinus. Then it enter trabecular sinus. Then medullary sinus and it's leap through the efferent lymph vessels and drain into the venous system. So this figure clarify the interrelationship between lymphatic vessels and lymph node. It illustrates how lymph is filtered and immune response are initiated, simplify the complex process and enhancing understanding of the lymphatic system function. Within the lymph node, there is so many type of immune cells are present. For example, B cell which produce antigen differentiated into plasma cell to initiate humoral immune response. T cell, it assists in cell mediated immunity. Macrophage and glyphal digest pathogen. Dendritic cell capture antigen and places to the T lymphocyte, reticular cell present which provides structural support and forming a fibrous network within the lymph node aiding in cell filtration and organization. It also contains follicular dendritic cell which retain and present antigen on their surface to B cell within germ germinal center crucial for B cell activation and maturation. It's also called in plasma cell which differentiated into B cell that produce and secretes large quantity of antibody. It also contains memory cell, long leaf cell derived from the B and T cell that remember specific antigen and it create a faster response upon a re-exposure. So this is all about this explanatory figure. If you like this video, please 
press the like button please subscribe my channel thank you for watching